Oh, no, they didn't. How are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's give this video as many likes as we can, bro. All right. We have a couple of dope gaming news items for this video. The first one, Nintendo is really teasing us right now. Really trolling us right now. Hot off the heels of Nintendo Direct's direct rumors heating up for September. This is what Nintendo has tweeted on their official Twitter account. Even Mario needs a little summer vacation. No matter where your summer odyssey, a play on words. Get it, Odyssey? Name of Super Mario Odyssey took you. We hope it was filled with Sunshine! How? Sunshine? Super Mario Sunshine. Now, I've been messaged. I mean, not messaged by like an industry, indie side of it. Just regular, just fans or whatnot. Saying, Obi-Wan, does this mean we're getting Super Mario Sunshine 2? Bro, Nintendo did not use those words by accident. This is what I'm seeing possibly at this next Nintendo Direct. Either a Super Mario Sunshine remake or our first tease at Super Mario Sunshine 2. I'm just saying, bruh, they got both Odyssey and Sunshine in this tweet. Let's see where this takes us. But rumors are heating up once again that... We more than likely will get a Nintendo Direct in September. Interesting to see what Nintendo will announce. You know the word? Achievements? Achievements? Alright, next news item. Oh, another banger, bro. Digital Foundry has done an in-depth analysis on the new Nintendo Switch and a couple of conclusions there is a difference in the screen the console does run cooler and more efficient of, of course with the extended battery life but what I was waiting for for Digital Foundry was to do a frame rate test now Game Explain did one a couple weeks ago and found that it was inconclusive and Digital Foundry has actually reported that the new Nintendo Switch, I'm not, I ain't gonna say the new one, the version 2, does run slightly better than the old one. They said it's so neg negligible that you won't even be able to see it with the human eye, uh, the differences uh, in the two consoles. And so ever so slightly overall, the Nintendo Switch... Uh, version 2 does run slightly better than the OG model, OG model. So, if you have original Switch, is it worth getting a new the Nintendo Switch version 2? I have to say no. And I've said this a million times. Not really worth the upgrade. Now, if you do not have a Switch, version 2 is a no-brainer just because of the extended battery life alone. Go get it, boy. Speaking of the Nintendo Switch. This is a little bit of a rage, a rant. I try not to rant too much on Nintendo. But I always have to keep it a buck with you guys. Now, this is coming hot off the heels of, this is a Nintendo Life article saying, NBA 2K developers dedicated to a quality Switch version. And... I am not blaming 2K for the debacle that's going on right now with NBA 2K on the Nintendo Switch. Right now, 
go to the eShop. Well, at the time of the recording of this video, I'm doing this at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. The video is going to be up on my channel around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the demo for NBA 2K20 on the Nintendo Switch has been removed from the eShop. It's not up there anymore. It was on there yesterday, but it's not up there anymore. Why? When, whenever I tried to click on the demo, a connection error came up. I have it on the demo on the Xbox One too. And tons of dudes in my Discord also have it on the PlayStation 4. Everyone was able to get in fine on the Xbox, PlayStation um, 4, Nintendo Switch was a no go. No one I know could connect on the Nintendo Switch. Now, there were some people that told me even on the Xbox that it took about four or five tries for them to get in, but they got in. I got in on my first try every time, but on the Switch version, no go. The only version, and dudes are trying to argue with me back and forth on Twitter, uh, I mean when eh, it's on uh, consoles, it's the only version, the only demo of NBA 2K20 that is no longer available is the Nintendo Switch version. I don't know what they're doing, maybe they're, they took it off to try and fix it, and they're going to put it back up maybe today or tomorrow, but bro... Y'all know I've had the ver uh, NBA 2K19 on the Switch and the Xbox last year. And this year, I was debating which one am I going to get. I was leaning more towards the Xbox just because the frame rate. The, of course, the game, the resolution is better, but the frame rate was also better. And gameplay is always where I draw the line. But because I'm a Nintendo fan, I want to support Nintendo third-party developers. But this is where I'm at. I'm gambling whenever I buy a third-party Nintendo Switch game. That's how I've been feeling. That missing features, the online is laggier than the other versions. It's just not. I'm spending the same $60 for a lesser quality. And I already know what dudes are going to say. I mean, what? It's about the portable experience. You can't play NBA 2K on the bus on the Xbox. Bro, first, in October, I will be with xCloud. Two, I primarily play docked as a, I use my Switch as a home console. Nintendo advertised this as their next home console. But, Time after time, we get an inferior experience if the Switch is what you're playing in a home con as a home console. And so, really, Nintendo made the decision for me. I, I pre-ordered NBA 2K20 on the Xbox, and so I'm going to be exclusively on the Xbox this year for NBA 2K. And that's how I'm going to be rolling for most of my third-party games, man. And... I can't blame 2K. I really believe this article that the developer is dedicated to a quality Switch version. The Switch version is going to get all the same features, all the same modes as the counterparts. They're not doing an EA and taking Volta, the best mode in FIFA, out of FIFA 20 this year. No, 2K is giving um, uh, the Switch all of the modes as every other um, um, console. But it's the online services that Nintendo's providing and even the hardware that Nintendo has given them to work with to where it's going to be an inferior port. This is my takeaway from my, the Switch right now. Only Nintendo first party games are being optimized, are like running at 60 frames per second, even some of them at 1080p, running real good, a quality gaming experience. Third-party games, they're not up to par. I don't care what nobody says about Witcher 3 on the Switch. It looks like garbage. I mean, it's impressive that they have that huge game running on the system. But I have Witcher 3 on my Xbox and PlayStation 4. Um, I made it real far on the PlayStation 4 
I haven't really touched it on my Xbox, but I've seen the game running. And the game doesn't look good. It doesn't. I don't care what anybody says. If you're playing The Witcher 3 for a handheld experience, I say buy it. If you're playing it and you're going to be playing it in dock mode most of the time, get it on the PlayStation or Xbox One. That's, what, that's, that's, that's just being real. So, 2K20, NBA 2K20 on the Switch is already off to a horrible start. Last year, now I played the Switch version from beginning to end. I ended the Mod Park as an elite, pure sharp. But, the, the lag, you actually have to adjust to shoot in that game because you're, there's a shot meter and you have to time it. You can't look at the shot meter when you're playing on the Switch. You just have to know your shot and just know when to release it because the game was that that laggy. So, Nintendo. And no one can argue Nintendo needs to step up when it comes to their online service. I don't care what you say, what you think. If you're still trying to defend Nintendo's online services, there's no hope for you, bro. None. All right. We have a couple more news items. Then we heading out. Gears Pop has launched today. I didn't even know this was launching today. But somebody on Twitch told me. Shout out to the homie Heavy G. Gears Pop. I downloaded it on my mobile phone. It's a mobile game. It's free. Why not, bro? Gears of War. Gears of War 5 is going to be lit. I'm going to be getting that day one through Game Pass. You know what I'm saying? And the last news item y'all remember these playstation 5 dev kits that have leaked well it looks like they are in fact real the, the, the developer for code master the tweet has already been taken down but a developer for code master he confirmed on twitter that this is in fact the same dev kit they have in their office right now <laughs> And so, this is real. Um, whether or not this is going to be the final design of the console, or they're going to get some inspiration from this, it's happened before. Where developers, where the dev kit, of course, isn't the actual design, but it's going to be similar um, to the final console. What I, what I, my takeaway is the air vents. A lot of power is in this bad boy. So, interesting to see, again, how Xbox Scarlet PlayStation 5 is going to turn out. I'm more of an Xbox dude, so I'm going to be picking up the Xbox Scarlet day one, um, depending, and let's see what, what Sony has to offer, too. Who knows? Sony might blow me away and be like, whoa, don't get the Scarlet. Get the PlayStation 5. I doubt it because I'm not big on Sony's first-party games. But that's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we discussed in this video? Sound off in the conversation below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. It could be happening. Flood is coming back. That was the best thing about Sunshine. Flood was late.